Greetings. Welcome to Queen L TV. This is L. Thank you so much for joining me. I am hot, y'all. So <laughs> it is. I'm looking at my car. So it is 93 degrees out here in Southern Illinois, and we are in the Midwest. And I'm telling you, like, kind of like in the center of the Midwest, and this temperature is just crazy. It is crazy. So it's like the sun is um, kind of at like its peak right now. Sunset is usually around, maybe it's around like 7.30ish right now. So with it being 5, um, yeah, it's crazy. We're at our, our peak. So if you have not checked out my last video, which was a grocery haul, um, as promised, please check that one out. I will link it up above. Um, and where I made two stops to Walmart in the same day because I'm cuckoo like that. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I just thought I'd hop back on here just to chit chat a little bit. So today is Tuesday. It's May 10th, 2022. And, yeah, like I said, it is hot. So, um, today I did, I knew, like I said, from a video from last week that I was doing a big grocery pickup for today. So, uh... I just didn't get everything in time for the cutoff um, for adding items to my or my original order for today so I actually looked to see what the nearest date and time was available for another grocery pickup and I mean true enough I didn't want to have to go back out like tomorrow um, I'm back to aside from any appointments which I don't have any appointments this week for me or the kids um, I wouldn't have to leave the house again until like Thursday to do laundry so I was hoping that you know I could find some time slot for today but that's super unlikely lately I figured it would be sometime tomorrow and I just have to you know suck it up and go anyway but I looked and I was looking at maybe maybe around 10 like 9 30 maybe or 10 this morning and it said that it might have been like nine o'clock now that i think about it um the app for walmart said that there was a four o'clock time slot available that was the earliest there were others later into the evening i knew i didn't want it to be too late because i prefer to be in the house before a certain time and um also i knew that my wait time for the order even after being told that it's ready would be longer the later I went into the evening so that four to five time slot was available I was like yes I jumped right on it um so this morning getting up with the little one and the older kids um I was feeling kind of tired um it's like what else is new I mean I have to remind myself I do have a little baby who still gets up um about once her night at this point which is still amazing um, and I'm thankful for that but um, yeah so that plus my chronic condition so yeah it makes for a tired mama most of the time so I was looking forward to this outing today because I have really been reeling back on the um, the iced coffee and um, I would say maybe a month ago I would make a special trip if I wasn't doing anything else on a specific day I would make a special trip to go get some iced coffee and come home with it just to feel like I was giving myself a boost because I don't have a coffee maker anymore um, and I, I'm not someone who feels the need to drink coffee every day I would drink tea every day and I've done that before but I just haven't had a taste for tea lately so but yeah I had gotten to that point so I would have iced coffee maybe a few times a week and like easily and so lately I've been doing iced coffee maybe once a week so even though and I would limit it at first I, as I started reeling back I would limit my iced coffee purchasing to just the times when I would leave the house so if I left the house twice per week to do laundry then I knew those two times I'm getting iced coffee definitely so um but i've been kind of falling back from that so like we went and did laundry on monday and i didn't get 
iced coffee. I thought about it, Duncan, um, which has become my new fave for iced coffee. Um, I would get an iced soy chai latte from Starbucks or if I wanted iced coffee, I would do iced caramel macchiato from Starbucks. But Starbucks is pricey and there aren't that many Starbucks in my area. So it's a bit further away. Not, not really far. It's like maybe 15 minutes from where I live. So that's not far at all. However, if it only takes me about five minutes to get to the laundromat that I go to and to where Duncan is, um, it's just easier to do that. And also, I like the way that Duncan's iced coffee tastes and, um, <coughs> excuse me, and it's like half the price, so why not? So, I, it was just too easy for me to go from the laundromat to literally like across the street. I could almost see the Duncan from the laundromat um, to go get some iced coffee since we had to sit and wait anyway <coughs> excuse me and me and my children we sit in the car and wait but I did not I actually um, said nope I'm gonna forego getting iced coffee and I knew that I was doing a grocery pickup sometime you know this week so I mean I say Monday that was yesterday I just thought about that today I keep thinking today's Wednesday and it's not it's Tuesday so I was thinking about iced coffee yesterday and I, I think because I thought I was going to do the grocery pickup on Wednesday of this week rather than today so I was glad to get a time slot for today for the first order even because of the time that I created the order kind of late last night so um, ooh, my allergies acted up so yeah um, I did my iced coffee <laughs> pardon me <laughs> so yeah, so I went on and did my iced coffee. Now, usually I do an iced caramel um, coffee, um, but this time I did iced mocha. And it's so funny, my daughter and I had this experience. So this was like, I don't know, several weeks ago, um, or maybe a month ago, we went to Duncan to get, she gets the frozen coffee, I get iced coffee. And whew, you know how some people say, duty calls? allergies call I had to blow my nose um, sometimes when I have like what feels like a tickle in my nose like I'm gonna keep sneezing and have like a sneezing fit I always tell my children whenever that happens to um, change their environment if they're in their room and they get a little sneezing fit maybe open up the door to their room and their room has uh, my boys share a room and their room has two doors so I'm like open up the doors to let some air circulate through your room some fresh air and step out of your room wherever you are that you're having this sneezing attack step out of that area because it might be exceptionally dusty in that area and something wherever you're standing or sitting is causing you to keep sneezing so I'll tell them you know just step away and for me blowing my nose helps to get I guess whatever little dust is tickling my nose to get that out that you know it might be TMI but anyway so had to pause for the cause for that so um yeah so my daughter and I we were we always would get our caramel ice and frozen coffees and this one particular time they're like we're out of caramel would you like another flavor and we're like wait what to me caramel is the most popular flavor so I guess that would support the fact that some businesses would run out of caramel as a flavor however it just seems so odd because I've never experienced that anyway um, I was like well what other kind is there <laughs> because that's what we always get and she mentioned mocha and vanilla I think and I'm a vanilla type of gal so vanilla was calling me but my daughter I looked at her and I said well what do you want and she said um, I'll try mocha and I said yeah let's do mocha and the mocha one was really good I mean my daughter was pleasantly surprised and I want to say the next time we went she um, opted for mocha as the flavor instead of caramel even though they had caramel so that was you know a, a rating from her um, so this time around I decided to do the same I did um, a iced mocha coffee so um, it looks like this it looks about the same as the caramel as you see it has like a little 
chocolate on the bottom um <laughs> i'm funny i will leave whatever um is kind of remaining on the bottom just because when my straw like i'm a slow drinker when i drink my iced coffee so um if you've ever had iced coffee before from anywhere really it's best um consumed right away um even whether you mix it up in the cup or not it's just best drink right away if you delay and that ice starts to melt something about the ice kind of diluting it as well as just the flavor profile is just not made to support having some melted ice you know lingering around in there um or just extra water so um every place that i've gotten iced coffee from whether it's starbucks duncan um wendy's mcdonald's jack in the box any place that i've gotten iced coffee um once that ice starts to melt it's a wrap it's it's no longer iced coffee it's some sludgy watery <clears throat> coffee flavored mess and um i'm almost drinking it almost out of obligation at that point because i've paid for it and feel wasteful if i don't try to consume as much as i can and then i just end up throwing the rest away so um the way that i kind of combat that is whatever is uh, lingering on the bottom so for the caramel one whether it's the caramel sauce or any chocolate sauce or whatever that lingers any like sweet stuff that you know settles down the bottom i leave that there so that as i'm taking my time sipping it i um kind of let my straw kind of linger on the bottom and that sediment that's down the bottom it um it still has some of the flavor so the melted ice doesn't affect that so that's how i combat it you know in a nutshell i guess <laughs> short not so short story um yeah so i got my iced coffee today and i'm very grateful for that um after so i did that after the first grocery pickup and i always take my little baby with me so um we this was his little road trip his little outing <laughs> for the day so I got the first set of groceries <coughs> excuse me first set of groceries went and got the iced coffee um, it's always interesting to me um, so I always wear a mask in drive throughs it's interesting to me now that most states including the state of Illinois where I reside um, no longer have um, mask mandates they're leaving it up to businesses. Um, certain counties have a mask man mandate, specifically in my state, um, counties around the Chicago land area have mask mandates in public places, but the rest of the state, we don't. That mask mandate was lifted, um, as well as schools, if I'm not mistaken. So, so grateful my children are homeschooled right now during this time. But um, it's interesting to see what businesses still wear masks um, and still have signs up saying masks are required by customers and which ones do not so I will say I think um, no nope, grocery stores from what I have noticed sitting outside they don't have mask mandates but I, their employees wear masks I have noticed that just not the customers um, and so that's what I mean so certain restaurants I've noticed the customer the employees don't have to wear a mask but some of them do like maybe the drive-through person will have a mask and I'll see other people in the back um, not wearing a mask or all of them wearing a mask it's just really interesting to see um, I'm very observant so I pay attention to those details but um, regardless I'm wearing a mask so it's like you suit yourself but I'm wearing a mask out in these streets so um, Went and did, actually, before getting my Duncan, I went to do my Target pickup. So from Target today, I just got some more antibacterial wipes. We were out of those. And um, some Mrs. Myers, um, or Mrs. I say Mrs. Myers. I think it's Mrs. Meyer um, multi-purpose spray. I like the Mrs. Meyer brand for hand soaps and sprays 
because um, until I get to the point where I am making it myself, I am seeking certain products that are less toxic than others. Um, antibacterial wipes, I want the strongest kind. That's just, you know, because of the what I use them for, um, which is really sanitizing, disinfecting. My multi-purpose spray, um, I like it to be less toxic and the Mrs. Meyer brand fits the bill. So I like that brand, so I got that. And both of those, I found a lemon verbena, um, if that's how it's pronounced, um, scent. So I was gonna say flavor, <laughs> definitely not flavored. Um, but I like that scent. So I got both of those. And I got myself some Aussie um, moist shampoo and conditioner which I really like for my, um, I have natural, naturally curly hair. So, um, that's what I got. And, um, what else did I get? Oh, I got some more, um, some more, um, dish towels for my kitchen. So, yeah, I've noticed that I go through some dish towels and sponges pretty quickly. I replace sponges really quickly, but, um, dish towels I go through quickly because um, we use a little bit of bleach in our dishwater just to sanitize things since I'm hand washing dishes and um, so for that reason you just find yourself going through towels really quickly so I needed to get some more of those so I grabbed those and then came on home by the time I did that and I waited a bit so my first grocery pickup was from 12 to 1 um, that was the time it was supposed to be my order they said it was ready about a quarter to 12 I took my time because I knew that I had this other pickup at 4 and I knew that I did not want to go back home and get comfortable in between those two pickups um, because I wouldn't want to get up and leave again I'd be I, for one thing I take off my outside clothes when I'm inside and just to me it was a hassle it would be a hassle to take off all of my outside clothes including my scarf and then put everything back on again I knew that I'd be recording the second set of groceries so yeah so because I took my time I went and picked up my first grocery pickup later than the scheduled time um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that because they have a certain number of time slots and what ended up happening was I waited a longer time than I probably would have if I would have went on time because I was there with the next group and shouldn't have been there so yeah so did that but for that reason by the time I got back from doing all of that um, it was already after three which was great as far as my timing because I went inside the baby needed to be changed um, went inside my oldest son always grabs the baby in his little car seat for me so had him bring him inside and um, after filming the first clip of the grocery haul I had him get all of those groceries and while I was changing the baby and by the time I changed him um, I was notified about the second grocery pickup and it was about a quarter to four so I was like bingo perfect timing I'm going right back out so we left right back out and um, went and did that grocery pickup and because it was the four to five group it was packed full of people waiting so I mean there were already about eight or nine people vehicles there waiting when I pulled up so I knew like man okay I'm after all of those folks so I had to wait the little one got fussy again I sat in my second row with him just like I did the first time around and um, just kept him kind of comfy and sang to him he likes when I sing to him so I sang to him while I was waiting for those groceries and it was funny because um, as the girl who worked at Walmart was approaching with my grocery order um, she was walking alongside the driver's side and I was sitting in the middle row but I was sitting on the passenger side of the middle row and my middle row has these um, little shades you can see that one it has these shades that pull up and clip at the top of the window so um, my windows in the back are bit just barely tinted like the factory tint and so those shades provide extra tinting though so 
she couldn't see me back there and wouldn't have thought to look back there but as she was approaching my vehicle she started slowing down because she realized i mean for one thing my van was on it was running um because i had the ac on but she couldn't see anybody so she was just kind of slowing down just looking and she walked on around to the back and um because i started opening my rear hatch door from inside and she um kind of peeked in and i just said hey and told her you know that was me i was just in the back with the baby and so she went ahead and loaded me up and then we got on back home so my baby is inside i wanted to do my second clip of the second trip <laughs> to walmart so i already filmed that so um yeah like i said that'll be linked above it should still be there so you can check that out if you're interested in grocery hauls for my um smallish um household um right now groceries just for four of us um because the little one's not consuming anything that we have yet so um that's about it so it's been a productive outing for today running those few errands and um, I don't really have much else going on. Um, <clears throat> I took Tylenol this morning for pain. So my um, pain is pretty tolerable right now. I was telling my partner last night, my pain is pretty much right now, it's at like a constant five. So when I'm taking um, over-the-counter pain meds, it's like at about a three to four. So it just kind of knocks the edge off, but doesn't really do too much and of course if you know the um just the anatomy of our bodies and what pain medication is actually doing it's not really solving or curing the problem the cause of the pain then um you understand why it wouldn't really eliminate it without having some type of adverse effect on you so let me get off of my soapbox when it comes to that i got a lot to say about that but um no, that's about it. So it's a beautiful day. It's just so hot. So yeah, I'm, I'm about to go inside and get on these boys to make sure that they wipe off everything, get the rest of these groceries, which is, I have them do that. So they're going to wipe everything down. I'm still doing planning for um, homeschool. I'm still researching, um, researching curriculum for the summer i do some fun activities a lot of free printouts for my 10 year old to keep him engaged um still in his education over the summer and um also researching curriculum for fall since my 10 year old will actually be doing um a cross between some late fifth grade into sixth grade curriculum for the fall and my um, 14 soon to be 15 year old will be doing 10th grade work this fall so it's going to be real you know interesting for their curriculum and um, I'm looking forward to also this will be my first time homeschooling a child from infancy so I'm really excited about that because my 10 year old was in the second grade when I started homeschooling him so um so that was early, but just not at the beginning. So I'm really excited about um, homeschooling my little newest little baby um, at home and just introducing him to some letters and you know sight words and all of that good stuff that's yet to come. So stay tuned for all of that. And also um, I'm feeling inspired to revisit my spiritual channel queen l 79 check that out if you i'm going to add it here um check that out if you um feel so inclined i took kind of a step back from that one um to focus more on my personal journey um over the past about 18 months or so but i'm feeling called to revisit that channel and to record some spiritual content some motivational content so um look for for that that's you know gonna come really soon i'm really interested especially over these next month leading up to my surgery next month i'm looking forward to recording um as much content 
as I could think of um, just to have the content out there so um, definitely give me some ideas if you have some um, otherwise I'll follow my intuition so thank you so much for joining me today as I wind down I feel myself <laughs> slowly fading um, I haven't really eaten much today so um, bad mama for that so I'm gonna get inside I have all these groceries now I'm gonna get inside and fix myself something to eat as well so thank you so much for joining me today I will be in touch the next time I'm leaving the house is in a couple of days for laundry so I will probably be in touch then um, unless something comes up that I think to record so again thank you for joining me check out my Etsy shop Queen L LLC dot Etsy.com you'll see the link in the description box below and um, that includes my screen print tees that I already had created um, and also some new teas related to Juneteenth that um, I have out there for purchase as well for Juneteenth which is June of course <laughs> June next um, which is next month so check out those teas and um, I truly appreciate any support that you provide and um, also my moon cycle planner is out there on Etsy I mean on Amazon and I have that link below as well and then my blog which is queenl.net so um, check out my website for that so thanks again for joining me it's been a pleasure Ashe. peace <laughs>